it's Anton here uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how I've wired up my receiver uh, to my APM 2.6 uh, the way I like to do it is not to have one of your standard um, servo connectors uh, with all the three wires the the ground the uh, the live and the, the signal I uh, prefer not to do that with all the channels because it gets a bit there's a bit too many wires in there and it gets a bit um, stressed on the pins and so on so what I have done here is that because all of the uh, positive pins the middle pins here let's see if we can get some focus here uh, the positive middle pins here they're all the same it's like a rail um, what I have done then is I have just taken one red wire from the the positive and one negative wire uh, because that shares the same with your receiver so here you see uh, the the middle pin is always negative and in this case on the dragon link the bottom pin is uh, sorry middle pin is positive and the bottom pin is negative so it's no sense in actually stringing over all uh, for every single channel here uh, the red and the black wire you only need to do it once so what I did was, as I took uh, a standard uh, servo connector, um, the plastic part here, the plastic surround, and then just with a sharp uh, craft knife, I then cut away uh, one of the channels, you could say. Uh, so I've, I've slimmed it from a three connector down to a two connector, so that it can it can fit uh, um, vertical like this, and then done exactly the same on the other side. Uh, so now. Now that's all of the, 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 the ground and power that I need to power my receiver. So I've saved on uh, a lot of red and black wires. Uh, now what I've done is I've then taken um, the standard servo connector and I've put it horizontally instead of vertically. Uh, and I have taken the, the white wires from, uh, from previous cables or previous connectors and I've just poked them out with a, a craft knife and I have uh, then inserted them into one connector so instead of it being white, red and black now you see it's white, white and white and I've put the pins along here horizontally and the same goes for the other the other connector so then it's much more simpler that's actually all the cabling that you need to take care of all of the um, all of the channels uh, so which ones match to which? Um, over here I have uh, a diagram that shows on the right hand side let's get some focus on the right hand side we have the uh, the APM board here and the inputs and on uh, in this note here I have how I set up my my Dragon Link receiver so I just take a, taken a note here of what the channels actually mean and what I'm going to use them for. I need to make an update here, but I'll explain what I'm doing. Uh, so what I have done is um, on channel one here, which is going to provide power to my Dragon Link receiver. What I have done is I've taken the negative and the positive, that two wires that I've cut down into the connect that I've cut into, down to, down to two. I've taken the negative and positive, and I've come over to the throttle channel here and the negative and positive. Um, uh, what I've then done is taken a white wire from, in this case it's aileron, so the white wire goes from channel 1 here on the APM board and in this case aileron is actually channel 2 on the Dragon Link receiver so it sort of switches over from 1 to 2 here. The next one I've taken is elevator, so channel 2 to channel 3, and then throttle, so channel 3, in this case to channel 1. So that then concludes this first cable here, of how I've taken channels 1, 2 and 3 on the APM board to channels 1, 2 and 3 on the, on the Dragon Link. Then the next uh, cable that I have here is going on uh, channels 6, 7 and 8 on the Dragon Link receiver and that's going to channels 5, 6 and 7 on the APM board. Um, now why have I done that? 
Well, first of all, uh, channel five on the on the APM board. Again, I'm just using the the signal pin here, here, and here for these channels five, six, and seven. Um, this is the mode switch, so this allows me to select uh, stability mode, um, cruise, return to home, and so on. Whatever modes you decide to program on your um, with your APM board. So that signal pin there, uh, AUX1, the, the mode switch, will actually go over to my uh, gear channel in this case. Uh, forget what it says here, that's, that this needs to be updated, but what I've done is I've used channels 7 and 8 to map to channels 6 and 7 here on the APM board, and that will allow me to do um, some in-flight programming, um, it will allow me to, let's say, set some PIDs when I'm in the air. What I'll be able to do is go into to, uh, um, my transmitter. I'll be able to you know, use this dial here to, to adjust some of the gains in, in mid-flight. I'll be able to use this switch here to, let's say, uh, do auto-tuning and, and things like that. So I've already prepared by, by having these wires here. Uh, so five for the mode switch, six to help me do some kind of programming, some adjustments, uh, seven to sort of switch on some modes, do some auto calibration and things like that. And that goes to channels, in this case, six, seven and eight on my Dragonlink receiver. And that explains this cable here. So that concludes this video. That's what it was about, how I have connected my APM 2.6 to my... Um, Dragon Link receiver using as minimal cables as possible. Cheers.